Hey guys, how are we doing? Uh, this video is to explain what New Raid Week is, what it's about, what it aims to achieve, and how um, it can help you grow, whether you do it during this Raid Week or whether you decide to take the information away for yourself. What is New Raid Week? New Raid Week is a program, or an idea if you like, of going into a brand new directory that you have never been before, finding a brand new streamer, and taking your community to mix with theirs. Um, this is an idea that has been brought up and used before in the Deviant Army, but this time I want to make a video on it to explain what it really is, because we're going to be doing it on a more regular basis. So when people ask me what it is, I can just link them to this video. So why would you raid a brand new streamer that you've never met before in a directory completely different from the one you're already in? Simple exposure. The reason why you want exposure and you want to expose other people to um, your community and you want to expose your community to other people is because that is how you grow. That is how you gain new connections. That is how you can introduce them to something that they might not have seen before. And that is good because if they raid into somebody that's really cool and a really nice streamer and, you know, they've got a really good community behind them playing a game that they might find interesting, that expands their horizon. That means that they've got somebody else to watch when you're not online. Not only that, it breeds friendship because you are taking your community and you're saying, hey, we're cool. We'd like to meet you. We want to get to know you. Let's hang out. And it breeds a really nice community feel back to Twitch that I feel is lacking. It's not there as much anymore. There's a lot of infighting. There's a lot of discontent. And I feel that by doing this and spreading the love, if you like, we can try and get that community feel back. We can try and, and reshape the bonds. We can try and um, grow together and help that organic growth and nurture that little seed that is your stream. So that's the basic idea. Now, there are nitty gritties to it, right? There are further and in-depth things. So, the best way of making the most use of this is to choose who you are raiding, even though they are brand new, right. Because if you choose wrong, <laughs> trust me on this, I've had a few of them, raids can be a bit of a hit and miss thing, okay? Especially when raiding somebody new. So, you want to try and choose somebody who is around the same level of viewers that you are at. The reason why is because you'll be easier to be remembered. Um, you will have a greater impact on their stream. Uh, people are more likely to stick around because if you're going at somebody at the same level as you, then chances are their stream's going to be, you know, it's going to be about the same as yours whilst having completely different aspects. So the equipment, the, the stream quality, the amount of engagement, it should all be, in theory, around the same as what you have in yours which means your viewers are gonna instantly feel a bit more welcome. They're gonna feel like they belong. They're gonna stick around for longer, which will benefit the stream you're raiding. On top of that, like I say, you'll be easier to remember because you have essentially doubled that person's viewership. In doing so, they're gonna be a lot more grateful to you and it will help foster that connection. It will help foster that hopefully brand new friendship. The other reason why you wanna do it is because it's it's kind of a safety net. I said, it, like you're going into a streamer that is roughly around the same as you. Now, I'm not saying don't ever raid anybody of different sizes because, again, that doesn't help anyone. Um, just try and make it so that you're more often than not raiding somebody of the same size. But every so often, making somebody's day, going into somebody with um, smaller viewership and, you know, giving them a huge boost. Just be aware that if you do do that, most people that have got like very few viewers or are just starting out might not know Twitch. They might not know what a raid is. They might not have the perfect setup. Perfect example, I raided somebody the other day. Um, there wasn't a thing yet, yet. He was just playing the game. He had no mic and he wasn't looking at chat. So you've got to be a bit careful um, when you are raiding into somebody new um, and just make sure that the, you've chosen somebody that seems to be on the down low or know what's going on. Likewise, if you raid somebody with a ton of viewers, yes, they've got loads of viewers in there that might see your link if they do a shout out, but 
the response isn't going to be as great. Like, any streamer should be over the moon that you're being raided them, but if they've already got 3,000 viewers in the channel, you raiding for 20, 30, 50, or 100 isn't going to make much of an impact. It's not going to make much difference. It's just going to be another raid. And that's not to say that, you know, streamers with huge amounts of viewers don't value your raids, but if you want to get the most, if you want to make a massive connection, then you don't want to be going too big because the chat is going to be going too fast. Other things to look out for is making sure that you thank the people that raided you and making sure to shout the people out on social media that you raided into to make sure that you get as many eyes on that streamer as possible to really help them and again to foster that connection to make that that point that you are here you are making yourself known and you want to be friends with that person you want to help them grow you want to get to know that streamer the other thing i would say is hold off on hitting the follow button as soon as you um raid in someone what i've noticed over the years is when you raid in someone you smash the follow button as soon as you get in there and then everybody does this and it's a huge follow train and it's all hype and then nobody goes in that channel again for one reason or another so hold off on pressing the, pressing the follow button straight away. Sit, chill, make sure that the streamer that you've raided into is, you know, somebody that you like and you you can feel yourself hanging in there when you're not streaming yourself. So yeah, that's what to look for when you are raiding in someone. What I aim to see from this is everybody in the DA and hopefully other people that see this video may be going, oh yeah, this is a good idea, we'll do that. Um, growing as a result. I want to see positive results. I want to see people saying that they've made new friendships, that they've discovered streamers that they wouldn't have done already. Hell, even that they already might even stream that game, that they might, um, you know, watch more streamers that are playing that game and they might expand their horizons. And the other hope is if they do that and if they do start saying that, then as I said in uh, one of my episodes of Daily, the Weekly Dose of Az, they might stick around when you then decide to change games. So yeah, that is where we're at, guys. That is what New Raid Week is all about for me. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you have a fantastic week. And I shall see you all next time. Ciao, ciao.